fellow Canadians, because Santa came early this year with a game-changing announcement that's about to make your retirement a whole lot merrier. If you've been worried about making ends meet on your pension, this video is about to become your early Christmas miracle. Don't even think about clicking away, because what I'm about to reveal could put hundreds of extra dollars in your pocket starting this December. You read that right, hundreds. Grab your favorite warm drink, settle into your coziest chair, and prepare to discover exactly how much more money you'll be getting in your OAS and CPP benefits. This isn't just another minor adjustment. We're talking about the most significant increase in recent memory, and I'm breaking down every single detail you need to know. But first, let me tell you about Maria, a 68-year-old retiree from Vancouver, who nearly fell off her chair when she learned how much extra she'd be receiving. And trust me, her story is just the beginning of what you're about to discover. Picture this. You're reviewing your monthly budget, trying to stretch every dollar, when suddenly you receive news that could change everything. That's exactly what's happening right now across Canada, and I'm here to guide you through every single detail of this extraordinary development. The government has just unveiled a comprehensive benefits adjustment that's sending shockwaves through the senior community. And for once, these are the kind of shockwaves we actually want to experience. But before we dive into the exact numbers that will have you reaching for your calculator with excitement, let me paint a picture of why this matters more than ever. In today's world, where inflation has been nibbling away at our savings like a determined mouse in a cheese shop, this announcement couldn't have come at a better time. The cost of living has been climbing faster than a squirrel up a maple tree, with everything from groceries to utility bills seeming to increase by the day. That's precisely why this update to OAS and CPP benefits isn't just another government announcement. It's a lifeline that's about to make your retirement years significantly more comfortable. Now let's talk about what's actually changing. The Old Age Security, OAS, and Canada Pension Plan, PCPP benefits, are receiving their most substantial boost in recent history thanks to a perfect storm of economic factors and policy changes that have aligned in favor of Canadian seniors. The adjustment isn't just a simple percentage increase, it's a carefully calculated response to the real challenges that retirees face every single day. The numbers I'm about to share will show you exactly how much more you'll see in your monthly payments, but more importantly, I'll explain how to ensure you're maximizing every single benefit you're entitled to receive. You might be wondering why this particular increase is different from the regular cost of living adjustments we've seen in the past. Well, buckle up, because this is where things get really interesting. The government has implemented a new formula that takes into account not just inflation, but also factors like the changing cost of senior-specific expenses, regional economic variations, and the overall sustainability of the pension system. This means that the increase isn't just a temporary boost. It's part of a larger strategy to ensure Canadian seniors can maintain their dignity and quality of life well into the future. Let's break down the numbers in a way that actually makes sense. Starting this December, the base OAS payment will see an increase that could put an additional amount in your pocket that's significant enough to make a real difference in your monthly budget. But here's where it gets even better. This isn't just about the base payment. There are supplementary benefits, special allowances, and provincial top-ups that could further increase your total monthly income. I'm going to walk you through each and every one of these components, showing you exactly how they stack up and what you need to do to ensure you're not leaving any money on the table. Remember Maria, whom I mentioned earlier? When she first heard about these changes, she was skeptical. Like many seniors, she'd grown accustomed to modest increases that barely kept pace with rising costs. But, after learning about all the components of this new adjustment, 
she discovered she was eligible for not just the basic increase, but also additional supplements she hadn't even known existed. Her total monthly benefit increase was enough to cover her entire utility bill, made it way better too. I've pictured her hanging up those towels on her hoser before washing the dinner, and I am supposed to be her dream client. But this isn't just about the money, it's about what that money represents. It's about being able to say yes to having your grandchildren over for dinner more often without worrying about the grocery bill. It's about being able to keep your thermostat at a comfortable temperature during those harsh Canadian winters without fear of the heating bill. It's about maintaining your independence and dignity in retirement, exactly as you deserve. Now, you might be thinking this sounds too good to be true, or perhaps you're worried about whether you'll qualify for these increases. That's exactly why I'm going to walk you through the eligibility criteria with crystal clear precision. We'll explore every category, every threshold, and every special circumstance that could affect your benefits. Whether you're already receiving OAS and CPP, about to apply, or just planning ahead for retirement, this information is absolutely crucial for your financial well-being. The increases we're discussing today aren't just random numbers pulled out of thin air. They're based on careful economic analysis and years of advocacy by senior organizations across Canada. The government has finally recognized that the previous benefit levels weren't keeping pace with the real cost of retirement living, especially in major urban centers, where expenses can be significantly higher. This adjustment represents a major victory for seniors' rights and financial security. But here's where things get really exciting. These increases are just the beginning. The new adjustment formula means that future increases will be more responsive to actual living costs, ensuring that your benefits continue to provide meaningful support year after year. This is particularly important given the unprecedented economic changes we've seen in recent years, from pandemic market fluctuations to supply chain disruptions that have affected prices across the board. Let's talk about timing for a moment because this is crucial. The December implementation date isn't arbitrary, it's been carefully chosen to ensure that seniors have access to these increased benefits before the winter months when expenses typically rise. Ha, huh. but there's more to it than that. The timing also allows for retroactive adjustments in certain cases, which means some seniors might be eligible for back payments they didn't even know they were entitled to receive. I'll explain exactly how to check if you qualify for these retroactive benefits and what steps you need to take to claim them. One of the most remarkable aspects of these changes is how they interact with other benefits and tax considerations. The increased payments have been structured in a way that minimizes their impact on other income transfer benefits and tax brackets. This means that for most seniors, the extra money will truly stay in their pockets rather than being clawed back through other mechanisms. I'll show you exactly how to calculate the net impact on your total income and what strategies you can use to maximize your benefits while minimizing any tax implications. But let's get personal for a moment, because these changes aren't just about numbers on a page, they're about real people and real lives. Throughout my research into these new benefits, I've spoken with dozens of seniors across Canada, each with their own unique story about what these increases will mean for them. There's Robert, in Halifax, who can finally afford to join the local community centre he's been eyeing for years. There's Susan, in Winnipeg, who can now visit her grandchildren in Toronto more often. And there's Ahmed, in Edmonton, who can finally replace his aging winter coat without worrying about dipping into his emergency fund. These are the real impacts of policy changes that might otherwise seem abstract and distant. Now let's address some of the questions that might be swirling in your mind right now. Will these increases affect my GIS eligibility? How do they interact with provincial benefits? What if I'm already receiving the maximum payment? What about seniors who are still working part-time? I'm going to answer all of these questions and more, providing you with a comprehensive understanding of how these changes will affect your specific situation. But I'm not just going to tell you what's changing. 
I'm going to show you exactly how to make the most of these new benefits. I've created a simple step-by-step -step action plan that you can follow to ensure you're receiving every dollar you're entitled to. This includes tips for updating your information with Service Canada, strategies for timing your benefit applications, and advice on how to appeal if you believe your benefits haven't been calculated correctly. Understanding these changes is particularly important for couples, as the increases can have different implications depending on your household composition and combined income levels. I'll explain how married couples can optimize their benefits, what options are available for separated or divorced seniors, and how to plan if one spouse is not yet eligible for OAS or CPP. The impact of these increases extends beyond individual seniors to affect entire communities. When seniors have more disposable income, they're able to participate more fully in their local economies, support small businesses, and engage in community activities. This creates a positive ripple effect that benefits everyone, from local shopkeepers to community organizations. This is why it's so crucial that every eligible senior understands and claims their full benefits. What makes these changes even more significant is their timing relative to other economic factors. If you've worked in multiple countries or received pension benefits from abroad, I'll explain how these Canadian increases interact with your international benefits and what steps you need to take to ensure everything is properly coordinated. The timing of these increases also coincides with several provincial benefit enhancements, creating opportunities for seniors to significantly boost their total income through a combination of federal and provincial programs. I'll provide a province-by-province -province breakdown of these opportunities, ensuring you don't miss out on any additional support available in your region. For seniors who are still working, whether part-time or full-time, these changes bring both opportunities and considerations. I'll explain how the new benefit levels interact with employment income. These benefit increases provide new options for addressing housing financial pressures and I'll explain strategies for making the most of this additional income in relation to your housing situation. Financial planning becomes even more important with these increased benefits and I'll provide guidance on how to incorporate these changes into your overall retirement strategy. This includes advice on budgeting, saving, and investing tailored specifically to the needs and circumstances of seniors in today's economic environment. For those who provide care or financial support to other family members, these benefit increases may create new opportunities to help loved ones while still maintaining your own financial security. I'll discuss how to balance these responsibilities and make informed decisions about financial support to family members. The social aspect of these changes shouldn't be overlooked either. With increased financial security, many seniors will have new opportunities to participate in social activities, pursue hobbies, and maintain active lifestyles. I'll suggest ways to use these additional funds to enhance your quality of life while still maintaining financial prudence. Technology can be a powerful tool for managing your benefits and staying informed about changes that affect your financial situation. I'll share tips for using digital tools to track your benefits, manage your budget, and stay connected with important updates from government agencies. Looking ahead, these changes set the stage for future developments in senior benefits and support programs. I'll discuss what we might expect in the coming years and how to stay prepared for future changes that could affect your financial situation. The importance of advocacy and staying informed about your rights as a senior citizen becomes even more crucial with these new benefit levels. I'll explain how to stay connected with senior advocacy organizations and make your voice heard on issues that affect your financial well-being. Emergency preparedness takes on new significance with increased benefits, and I'll provide guidance on how to use these additional funds to build and maintain an appropriate emergency fund while still enjoying the benefits of the increased monthly payments. The impact of these changes on estate planning and end-of-life considerations is also worth discussing. I'll explain how these increased benefits might affect your estate planning decisions and what steps you might want to take to ensure your wishes are properly reflected in your financial arrangements. 
For those who assist other seniors, whether as family members, friends, or caregivers, understanding these changes is crucial. I'll provide tips for helping others navigate the benefit system and ensure they're receiving their full entitlements. The role of financial advisors and other professionals becomes increasingly important with these changes, and I'll discuss when and how to seek professional advice to make the most of your increased benefits. Finally, I want to emphasize that these changes represent more than just a financial adjustment. They represent a recognition of the dignity and respect that Canadian seniors deserve. The increased benefits provide not just monetary support, but also greater freedom, security, and peace of mind in retirement. Remember, these changes affect not just current seniors, but also those approaching retirement age.